Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how you can convert a VS Code theme to work in Visual Studio. We've been on a journey to make Visual Studio as flexible as possible so that you can code the way you want. And now, if you're a theme author, you can convert your theme to work in Visual Studio so that a wider audience can get access to your theme. Let's get started. Here are the things you'll need in order to convert your theme. I'll note that you'll want Visual Studio 2022 Preview 4 or later because it has fallback colors, which you'll want just in case the JSON doesn't cover that area of the UI. Let's navigate to Visual Studio to configure our install. I have the .NET desktop development workload. I also have the Visual Studio extension development workload. In components, I have .NET 5 runtime. Now I'm ready to go. I'm going to be converting the winter is coming theme today. I've gone ahead and applied it to my Visual Studio Code instance. On my keyboard, I'm going to press Control Shift P to bring up the command palette. I'm going to select generate color scheme from current settings. This is going to give me all of the tokens inside this theme that describe the colors. I'm going to save this in a folder that I previously created. It's going to be a JSON file, not a JSON-C file. Next, I'm going to navigate to our converter tool. This is a free open source converter tool. And if there's anything you'd like to see improved, you're welcome to create a PR or create an issue. I'm going to go ahead and clone this tool. I'll navigate over to my command line opened in admin mode. I'm going to clone using the git clone command. After I clone this tool, I'm going to navigate over to the folder that I've just created. Then I'm going to build the tool using .NET build. Next, I'm going to navigate into this folder. I can run the tool using this command with the flag dash H. This is going to give me instructions on how to use the tool. I'm going to go ahead and convert my theme. The flag dash I is the folder that I've created, which contains my JSON file. I can convert several themes at once by including several JSON files inside this folder. The flag dash T is the target Visual Studio, which will open and patch my theme so that I can take a look at it. I also have the option of just creating the package def file without opening Visual Studio. After it's loaded, I'm going to navigate to Tools, Theme, and select my theme. It's going to get applied. There you are, winter's coming. Next, I can package my theme up inside a V6 in order to upload to the marketplace or share with friends. I can navigate to File, New, Project, or Control Shift N. Next, I'm going to search for V6 and create an empty V6 project. I'm going to name my project and then select Create. Then I'll navigate to Properties, right-click Add, Existing Item. I'm going to select the package def file that I've just created. This is going to be in the same output folder as my JSON file. I'm going to select all files in order to see my package def file. Once I've selected that, it's going to show up in the tree. I'm going to select the package def file and expand the project properties window. For copy to output directory, I will select copy always. And for include in v6, 
I will select true. Then I'm going to navigate to the V6 manifest. I'll navigate to assets and new. Then for type, I'm going to select microsoft.visualstudio.analyzer. For source, I'll select file on file system. And then for path, again, I'm going to select the package stuff file that I've created. And I'll select OK. Finally, I can adjust the metadata inside my theme, like my theme name, author, and version. Now the last step is to build it. I'm going to go ahead and build the extension. You can see it's working. After I've built the theme, I'll see a v6 file inside my output folder. I can now upload this theme to the marketplace where there are a lot of other great themes already available. And there you are, winter is coming on the marketplace. If you try the converter tool, or if you try any converted themes, we'd love to know what you think. This process is always iterative, always changing, and we're always looking to improve. Thanks, everyone.